Look at it. Open it. Video. Put video. Put a video too. Video. See what she did. Will you? No, but you did a piece of Madam, let's go. Can you see it? Hello, what am I? Come and see. Come and see. Put on her. Three of them. Put on her. Are you okay? Look at it. An INEC official. Look at it. 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 I'm all over Lagos, we are getting distressing reports of voter intimidation, voter suppression. You know, really, in a papa, one of our agents was shot and he's dead. And the worrying thing about this is that INEC and the police are shown to be complicit in this. Now, the reason why we're why we're doing this video is it's important that INEC and the police realize that they are provoking, they are provoking Lagosians right now. And if tomorrow, if tonight, Lagos catches fire, it will not be because it's our fault. It's because they did not do the right thing. INEC still has hours to make do the right thing. A lot of people will be able to, with the help of security agencies, calm down a lot of areas. But a lot of areas are still under intense attacks by thugs and hooligans of the APC. I call on INEC, most especially, and the police not to set Lagos on fire. This is a state that houses 22 million people. Having that many people angry because of their, because of their disenfranchise is not something that Nigeria needs right now. So I call on the INEC rep and everybody involved in this election to make sure they do the right thing and create at least the perception and the attractive of a free and fair election.